Hello guys, what's up? This is a video made by me, YouTube producer, and today I'm going to teach you how to disassemble, maintain a custom products pinball uh, regulator. So this holds three sections, the top, the middle, and the bottom. So I'm just going to unscrew the top part. Oh, uh, let me show you that you're gonna need a a big allen key, I'll explain that later and the uh, medium sized allen key and your favorite loop, I use hater sauce so let's take the top off so as you can see there's just an o-ring right here another right here on the top and there's really nothing in there that you need to maintain, just uh, keep this nice and clean so this is the top part and we have the middle section which holds the piston this is the piston so let's disassemble the middle part of the custom products uh, regulator okay so we have the, the piston right here you can see this is the piston that goes uh, through the bottom so it can get the air and the pressure so how do we get the piston out so what are you going to do you can get a pencil you can just get your allen key just get it um, stick it um, with the with the piston sticks out and put and push it to the other side because you can't push you can't push it this way because there's no hole for the piston to go this way so there's only one way that this piston is going out of this way so we're gonna have to push this push this so we have pushed the the piston here it is here it is right there now I'm going to show you guys that this has shims and what shims are is that they they, adjust, they uh, are, are the ones that take in charge of the pressure so I'm going to show you guys just in case if the shims fall out while you're trying to maintain it there are the, this shims has um, let me get the camera here so basically the shims they have uh, they have two sides they have a flat side they have a flat a flat side and they have uh, a curved a curved side so as you can see this is uh, flat this is curved face down and how this is going to go to the piston you are going to you, you are going to put the flat side first as you can see that's the first uh, shim it, it was already in the piston but it goes like that you have to first play with the flat side and then you have to place with the curved side you can see the downside is flat and this is a little curved so we are going to put it put it on the curved side so we are going to put it face down it's going to look like a sandwich so look at that and then you're going to start with the flat side again so it goes just like this and then we go for the curved side okay this is flat face down curved face off so we're going to use the curved section and then we are going to keep doing that flat side curved side flat side curved side so you are just going to stack them up like that until they look like a sandwich and if you do you've done that successfully the regulator shims are going to look like this First, you can see that the first one on the piston is flat, the other one is curved face down, and the other one 
is um, curved. Uh, he goes flat, curved face down, flat side, curved face, curved face down. So look at it closely. It's it goes just like that, and you can see we have uh, an O-ring on the bottom. So let's uh, maintain it. So uh, since I showed you guys how the shim stack goes, let uh, um, let's maintain the piston. So you are you are going to use your favorite lube. I use hater sauce. So. You are going to use use uh, some loop onto the the piston itself. Just keep it nice and clean. Make sure that there's no particles. Keep this as nice and clean as spotless as possible. So we are going just going to put our shim stack together again. Since I already have this, so. All I have to do is put them in. Oh, looks like uh, I made a little mistake. So, but anyway, just make sure that you put the stack in correct. Put the stack uh, correctly, so you won't have any problems. Um, if you have any questions, just post in the comments below. I'll take care of you. So. Make sure that you have everything nice and smooth. Um, so yeah, this is the how how it's going to look. It go, it's going to look like a sandwich. So we are going to put the piston back just like it was. So you can see there's a little small right over here. So this is going to go just like this. Just push it in with your finger. You should be able to do this. There. The piston is all flushed. It looks great. So let's screw the, the top. But before I do that, let me get to the bottom part. Um, as you can see, there's nothing really in here that you need to maintain because you you don't really need to do this. There's no reason for you to go deeper than that. There's just the the adjustment screw, and there's also this is just what holds the pressure. Um, well, where, where the air goes, the airflow. So there's really no need for you to go deeper than that. Um, but just keep it nice and clean. Um, if you have any questions, well, just post in the comments below. So let's put the regulator back in together because we are already finished. So just going to put the the pieces back together and the top back together. So after we have maintained the piston, maintain everything cleaned. We have successfully maintained a custom products paintball uh, regulator. So I tried to make it as simplest as possible. Um, I just hope you guys understood this video. So anyways, if you have any questions, just post in the comments below. Also, most of the time the custom products are going to be very very tight um, uh, on the factory so this key the biggest key earlier you can just um, take it from the top just like that it's going to be flush nice and tight and you could grab like a wrench or something just clamp it really really hard in the middle and just unscrew it if it's just too tight you do the exa exact same thing with the middle part if it's too tight so let us put uh, back our custom products. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, pinball regulators. So, anyways, comment, like, subscribe. Once again, thank you for your support. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.